Okay, so welcome back. This video we're going to look at the quadratic formula. Okay, so first we're going to look what a quadratic is. So a quadratic is any formula or any equation that's in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Okay, so uh, the a and b and c can be any number, x squared, x, and then a constant. So the x is going to be like an x, like you're always going to use in maths, is going to be x squared, has to be an x, and there has to be a constant term, something without an x. Okay, so this is what a quadratic. Uh, equation looks like so you're gonna so normally you can use the you can solve this by factorization as well but we're gonna use the quadratic formula today so the three times you're gonna have to use the quadratic formula are gonna be uh, one if it says in the question solve two decimals that's a C and an I sorry uh, solve the decimal places, okay? That means straight away, it should be alarm bells going off in your head, I have to use the formula, don't even try to factorize it because you won't be able to factorize the decimal places. So the formula will do this for you. Okay, the second time then is if the question itself looks like 0 0.3x squared plus 7.7x minus 3.5 is equal to zero. So whatever you have, as long as there are decimal places in it, it means straight away you won't be able to do it in your, uh, in your head by factorization. So you're gonna have to use the formula and I use this pretty color here. Three if it's just if you can't do it. So I'll just say can't do it. So if you try to factorize it and then it doesn't work for some reason, it isn't working out for you either. That's because you're gonna have to use the formula, or you just you might just be making a little mistake, you can't see it. But anyway, the formula will do that for you. So we wouldn't recommend doing the formula straight off just because it's a bit slower. So I'll just make a little bit uh, I'll just say so slower. Uh, so try and factorize it first, but if that doesn't work, then go straight to the formula. You don't want to waste time trying to factorize it for ages and ages and ages. So if, you, if you're finding it, you can't get it, you can't always just skip to the formula. Um, okay, so remember, it's always going to be in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. And the formula itself is x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac. So I'm just going to get the eraser there. Just make a little gap there. Sorry, yes, it's b squared minus 4ac. So sorry, I kind of drew that in the one line. Um, sorry, yeah, all divided by 2a. Yeah, so make sure that this bit gets divided by 2a as well, not just this bit here. So I'll scroll down and we'll look at an example because that's the best way of looking at it. So our example will be Oh, no, I'm actually change color. Uh, yellow. No, yellow. 3x squared minus 17x plus 20 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is going to be our A, this is our B, and this is our C. So be careful, this whole thing is B, and this whole thing is A, and this whole thing. So it's B is equal to minus 17, not just 17. So don't forget about that minus. So we'll write out our formula first. X is equal to minus B plus or minus B squared minus 4AC divided by 2A. Sorry, I'll keep, make sure to keep my handwriting a little bit neater. Uh, so this formula is in your tables book. You don't have to learn it off by heart. We'd recommend not learning it off by heart, just in case you make a silly mistake in the exam and it's just you pointless to throw eye marks for something such as just not checking the formula. It takes two seconds. It's actually on the cover of the log tables book. If you look into kind of the one of the round pictures, you see this thing here. So you don't even have to open the book. Just have a look on the outside. Anyway, so we're going to write this out. It's going to be minus b, and b is minus 17, plus or minus, this is going to be a little bit of a squeeze, minus 17 squared, minus 4 by 3 by 20. So sorry about that. I'll make sure to give plenty, plenty of space in the future. 2 by 3. Okay, and we'll scroll down to finish this. So that's going to be equal to plus 17, because minus minus 17 is going to be plus. So always be careful about that. 17 squared is going to be 289. And obviously I didn't do that in my head. I had that here beforehand. Um, minus 240. Okay, all divided by 6. Okay, and this is going to be 17 plus or minus the square root of 49 divided by 6. Hopefully I've run out of space here. Equal to 17 plus or minus, so I'm just going to draw a line over there so you don't get confused. There we go. 17 plus or minus the square root of 49 is 7, all divided by 6. And this thing here, so that means you're going to get x is either equal to 17 
plus 7 divided by 6, or x is equal to 17 minus 7 divided by 6. So that's the thing is you're going to get two different answers with this, okay? That's what the plus or minus means. So they're plus 7 or, sorry, plus 7 or minus 7. I'm going to change that. Give me one second. Mm -mm. Yes, yeah, so you're always going to get two answers. Oh, it's just taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. So bear with me. Okay, that'll do for now. Don't want to take forever. Seven. Okay, yeah? And again, that's minus seven, sorry. I'll be careful more in the future. Uh, so our two answers are going to be, so 17 plus seven is going to be 24. Divided by six is going to give us four. So x is equal to four. And then I just like always drawing boxes around the answers when I get them. So you'll see that it's just a good habit to have. Shows the examiner straight away where your answer is. And it, it's good for yourself as well. If you have to use this answer in a later part of the question, you can just look back and look for the box, okay? And the other one is gonna be, so 17 minus seven is gonna be 10 divided by six is gonna give us five over three if we simplify it. But you can leave it as 10 over six. And if you wanna turn that into a decimal point, you can. Uh, fraction is fine as well, okay? So that's how to use a quadratic formula. You're gonna get two answers, okay? And one last thing, one last point we're just gonna make. Uh, I will squeeze it into the bottom corner here. So we'll say negative. So I'm just gonna write it here. If you get a negative answer or a minus answer in the square root, either you've made a mistake, so I have to look back because basically this can't be solved. Try to put this in your calculator, it'll give you an error. Either you've made a mistake or it's a question about complex numbers, which we'll deal with in a different chapter. So just be careful about that. If it's a question about algebra and you find a negative, there's a good chance you've made a mistake, okay? So have a look about that. Hopefully that's all clear and thank you.